Hello, this is Zach Hall. I'm going to go over how to use GraphViz in order to draw a finite state machine. Uh, GraphViz uses the dot language. Um, here is, they actually show the uh, abstract grammar definition right on the page. Um, looks kind of complicated here and honestly doesn't really tell us a lot what it actually does. Um, Lucky for us on the website, they also have examples, and we're going to look at this example right here. Um, it's got a decent amount of uh, decent amount of nodes and quite a few terminal ones actually. So uh, they give us the code here. So we're going to go to GraphViz, put that in, and voila, we get a pretty little graph just like was shown here. Um, I'm going to look at the code now and see about some changes. Obviously it has starts out with a list of the uh, terminal nodes, so the double circled ones. So right here we got LR0, LR4, LR3, and LR8 are the four that are double circled here we can go ahead and include LR5 and that shouldn't really change anything other than LR5 will now be double circled and we'll see if that's the case and it indeed is here it's double circled here whereas in the first place it wasn't it's still got the uh, still got the arrows coming from 7, 8, and 6 7, 8, and 6 and it still has and from two as well, and yeah, there's a two here, as well as going out to itself and to LR7, itself LR7, and I didn't just check these, but I'm sure all the uh, labels here are identical as well. Um, that said, we can change each of the labels here. We got label equals this. This is the uh, line connecting zero to two. Label is SSB. Zero to is SSB. So if instead of SSB, I want that to be, be duck. And the 0 to 2 should be duck. Everything else is the same. Um, one other thing is this also supports non-directed graphs. That's what this digraph up here means. I think it has here. Yeah, this can be graph. I think it can also be some sort of strict graph graph or digraph, but I'm going to go in here. The one difference is that in the graph, instead of the arrows here, I'm just going to have double lines. So if we just replace all these, we're going to have a an undirected graph, which should be identical to this, and it looks like it is. Um, Looks like it might have rearranged it a bit, but it should still be identical in terms of lines coming out and in. I think I rearranged it just because of the double circle on the 5. I'm going to take that out and see if that makes it at least in the same spot. Although logically it shouldn't really matter. But yeah, there we go. We still got 8, we still got the same terminals, we still got the duck from here instead of SSB, but everything else is going to end up looking the same. Um, one other thing is you can just add in a few more nine and that's just going to be middle of nowhere because there's nothing connecting it. Um, and then if we end up getting rid of all the connections to a certain node down here, it's going to disappear. I'm just going to comment out the two for zero and I don't think there's anything over here. Yeah. And then we look here, and, oh, it still has a zero, because that's a double, I'm going to take that out. Now, as you can see, zero, I'm pretty sure, was the only thing connecting one and three to the rest of the graph as well. One and two, yeah, because zero connected to one, one connected to three. So now we're going to see one and three on their own. And 9 was just the one I put in a second ago. Um, yeah, but then if, whoops, that was a mistake.
mistake. We end up adding in another line. LR zero. Label equals blah. Then we should end up seeing a zero again. Yep, there we go. LR zero. So, um, yeah, it's not entirely complicated, especially when they give us a template to start with. Um, it doesn't seem to really have any functionality in terms of like verifying acceptable grammars or, yeah, verifying whether the input is actually valid to the finite state machine. It seems to be strictly limited to displaying the graph, but as far as that goes, this should be at least a decent introduction to it.